Hello, I'm just having a bit of a test of something that I'm building for Plum. It is, well, it's one of these. Um, well, it's not, no, it's not just one of these, it's eight of these. Now, hang on. It's 24 of these. Yeah, I need to make 24 of these. And these are, this is a bi-directional um, driver, a bi-directional, essentially a, what would be a bus transceiver once you've paralleled them all up. Um, and it is very, very similar to what you'll find inside one of these. Is this the one? Yeah. This is a 74HC245 and it is an 8-bit uh, or an octal uh, bus transceiver. So, what's one of those? What it does is it has a set of A pins, let's say, a set of B pins, and either set can be input or output, depending on what you say in terms of a uh, direction uh, bit, uh, not bit, sorry, let's not confuse things, um, signal that you, you feed in. So if the direction is low, for instance, then A will be copied onto B, if the direction is high, then B will be copied onto A, and that's uh, it, it, those, that is a buffered signal. So it reaches this point and then gets copied across, and it provides that bit of isolation. And it's what I'm using on the to try and help isolate the modules a little bit. Now, why do I need to build three of those instead of just using three of those? Well, um, this is essentially what they have inside them. Um, now here, we've got a signal that I have labeled cell for select, as in this is the, I, I want you to, to run, to, to work, basically. It's the enable line, I should have called it enable, I don't know why I called it select. Um, in the bus transceiver chips, these are all connected together, because all eight work at the same time, all, all together. Um, but I want to be able to address them individually because what I would prefer to be all common together is one of these sides, A or B. So what I want to build is a circuit that um, can take a single bit and route it to one of eight bits, but bidirectionally. And why I would want that is a surprise, um, which you are not going to find out in this video, um, but you will do eventually. So let's have a bit of a test. This is our enable signal, or our cell, <laughs> um, and like most enable uh, output enable signals, um, it's active low. So right now we are disabled, and the test is that when I Okay, so these two LEDs are on either side of that AB loop there. So you can see the AB loop is made out of the purple and pink wires, and the green LED is on the purple side, and the red LED is on the pink side. So the test is that when I tap one of these legs, um, they should only the LED that I tap will light. So red, green, excellent. We are disabled, we're not copying any state from any side to any other side. So if we enable, like that, so that's now low. Um, oh, sorry, let me just uh, fill it on. These two are the direction selection here, um, but I have skipped out the um, inverter for now and I've just got these two signals directly so I need to, to do the inversion here which is why one is low one is high and when I flip it I have to flip both of them um, because there's not much need for me to invert that signal 8 24 times um, I can just invert it once and send the signal around so we are currently enabled and I'm not sure which which 
state of direction is which direction. So well, let's find out. Oh, there you go. See how I'm lighting the red LED, but the that 5 volt, basically, that high signal is being relayed over to the purple side, to the green LED. Now, if I tap the green LED, the red one should not light because it's not being copied in that direction. Excellent. Now, let's flip the direction over. There we go. And try it the other way around. Oh, yeah. A uh, simple circuit, which I shall now replicate 24 times. 